Friends, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to take up the problem of fear and then we also discuss the solution for fear. First of all, fear is used as a mental attitude sin in the Bible. 1 Samuel 17, 11 or 24. Number two, fear as a mental attitude sin is characterized by panic over reaction, excited by the expectation of harm or evil, accompanied by a strong desire to escape it. Exodus 14.10 and Exodus 17.2. Number three, fear as an emotion causes irrational thinking. Exodus 14.11, Exodus 17.3. Number four, the emotion of fear is a feeling of dread, terror in different degrees. This emotion can cause speeding up of the beating of the heart, the imbalance of the nervous system, it can affect the eyes, the skin, etc. Number five, fear is a sign of negative volition which results to divine discipline. First Samuel 18, 12 and 29 and First Samuel 28, 20. Now we come to the solution for fear. Number one, we must understand that fear is forbidden in the grace plan of God. Exodus 14, 13 and 14, Joshua 8, 1, and Isaiah 41, 10. Number two, we must acknowledge fear as a sin when we find ourselves afraid. 1 John 1, 9. Number three, we must apply the promises and doctrines we know to the objects of fear, i.e. the faith rest drill. Psalms 56, 3 and 4. Number four, we must grow up spiritually to maturity by consistent, persistent intake of the Word of God, which transforms our thinking from fear to courage. First Peter 2.2 2, and Second Peter 3.18, etc. Number five, spiritual maturity is characterized by courage. Psalm 3, 5, and 6. Number 6, true love means the absence of fear. 1 John 4, 18. And number 7, true love for God is accomplished by knowing Him through spiritual growth, trusting His power to work all things together for good, which removes fear from our thinking. Romans 8, 28.